Hey, what is up guys? Bayleaf here, and today we will be reacting to MLP Season 6, Episode 1 and 2, The Crystalling. I know absolutely nothing about this episode, honestly. I got curious the other day, went into the freaking Google search bar, hmm, when's the next season of MLP airing? And apparently I've been very disconnected with the fandom lately. So actually, hopefully tomorrow or the day after, I'll be working on recording and doing the visuals for my new video analyzing the, technologi the technological development of Equestria and why and how that diverged from our own technology and how we developed that way, so that should be interesting. Um, by the way, the reason I'm at the end of the video is, for you, those of you who don't know, to kind of kind of get the audio balanced so you can hear both me and the video. So. I think we're about ready to watch this. I'm sure you guys will really want to see it. I know I do. It should be really entertaining. It might be funny. Um, I don't know who wrote it or anything, so I can't really say anything like that. But uh, yeah, let's um, dive into this and see what we got. <sighs> okay. Library. Library. Change the volume a bit. Yeah, they really need some freaking signs on those doors to try and figure out where everything is. Crystal Castle is kind of massive. This castle looked a lot smaller from the outside. I agree with that. They need signs in Morning Starlight. What? Hey, it's a Spike. Sorry, Spike. I guess I'm still trying to find my way <laughs> Because around. it's a big deal if you walk in on someone naked the in the bathroom. Is, do you? Next door on the left. Oh. Thanks. They need signs. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, you know, Sarah Light's just kind of like acting all casual in the castle, because why not? Um, honestly, I think I would trust Discord before I would trust her, and then they don't even trust him that much yet, although it's kind of more. I still haven't finished watching season 5, honestly. So, Starlight's Twilight's pupil now. That should be interesting. Oh, these are just the A's. After this, I move on to the B's. <laughs> Her organization, though. I'm sorry, Starlight. <laughs> my little pony, my little pony. <laughs> Almost feel bad for her, but let's face it, she deserves to have to deal with at least Twilight's OCD for all that shit she caused. <laughs> oh, should be fun. Let's see what this season has to bring. I'm very curious. It wasn't that big on last season. I'm gonna have to go back and finish it, so I can at least do some videos on it, or see if I can get some video ideas out of it. Because let's face it, my video output has been so bad. I need to try to get back into things and get more focused, so that's what I'm gonna try and do. I know I'm just learning about friendship, but I didn't think there were this many lessons for anything. The aesthetics are nice. How do we choose? Maybe I should pare things down a bit before we go through them. Why don't we join the others in the throne room? They're planning our trip to the Crystal Empire when Shining Armor and Princess Cadence have their baby. This I have heard about, just because I saw the pictures and everyone was like, Oh my god, it's so bad looking and stuff. They need signs. And maybe some guards. The Crystal Empire. I'm sure very few people are, it's kind of a new empire. Old Empire. You know, that thing. Yeah. Kind of vanished for a while. At a party. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Pinky! And a party. Naturally. Not hard to understand. Most things in the Crystal Empire aren't. Like how I'm a big hero there, for example. Oh, that's still going to his head. <laughs> uh, plus, I've had to help Twilight do a lot of research on crystallings. Whenever a baby is born in the Crystal Empire, the parents bring it before the Crystal Heart. They get the purest shard of crystal they can find, then pick a crystaller to present the baby to every pony who comes. Then they all share the light and joy they feel, feeding it into the crystal that joins with the heart and increases its power. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. And this is going to be a royal crystalling, so pretty much the whole empire will show up. That hasn't happened in a millennia. 
What do you mean it increases the Crystal Heart's power? The energy it uses to protect the Crystal Empire, I guess. Protect it from what? No, I didn't help Twilight with that part. <laughs> oh, now I'm curious what exactly it's protecting them from. Before I know it was Sombra, but he's gone. Hey, Theoretically. Twilight, can I ask you something about the Crystal Empire? Huh, funny you should mention it. Because I just narrowed your first friendship lesson down to three options. And one of them is in the Crystal Empire. Really? I found out that's where the first pony you ever cared about lives. Sunburst? Of course, huh. that's just one idea. We could also go to Griffin's. Oh. She doesn't seem to be reacting to that well. Oh, come on, go visit Sunburst. It should be fun. Is something wrong? Something's very wrong. She's not no. doing okay. Those all sound great. I know. I guess you were right. It is good. They definitely have some new <laughs> facial stuff. In the puppets now, which is neat. <laughs> that would be a room and ladder closet. A map. They need a map. They have a map, but a map for the castle, not a map for you know, the entire freaking country. I'm not exactly thrilled with the options. Well, with one of them. Which one? Reuniting me with my first friend. What's so terrible about that? <sighs> That's a good question, and they're gonna start singing, aren't they? When we were fools, oh. Sunburst knew everything well, there was to know about magic. Didn't see that coming. He always knew just what to do. Well, that is a very skilled pony in magic. Always there to help me. Huh. I guess it's not surprising that Sunburst got his cutie mark in magic and went off to Princess Celestia's school. But when he left. She could have went. She could have just went to visit him. It's not that far to Canterlot, is it? Not really stuff I'm super eager to tell Sunburst about. I mean, he's probably some big important wizard now, and I can't go all the way around Twilight's <laughs> castle. Well, if Sunburst is that good at magic, what about a tracking spell to tell where everything is? Uh, That'd be cool. You should talk to Twilight about it. I'm sure she'd want to hear what you have to so say. You don't usually see no. character designs where you actually see the horn jutting out of their head. Run. Usually there's hair covering it. It's kind of neat. Doing. Spike, come quick! And Spike run. Whoa, it is windy. And that's animated kind of really cool like. What? That's cool. An aunt. I'm an aunt. Great. Great. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I didn't realize I had their emblem there. I shouldn't cover that. Move my name over here. Make your Jenny wine, sweet apple acres, apple trees. We make the brawly apples, and any pony related to twelve cool. is practically family. Yeah, it's so But how do you do word work without fingers? Well, mobile is real nice. As long as you have something to lay in so you can look at it. And a fetching blanket. I'm sure shining armor and Everything's doing all, all of their but stuff. It's cute. will be attending the baby's crystalline. Ooh, I can't wait to see all that light glow the crystal heart even more sparkly and shiny. Actually, Pinky, the crystal heart is an ancient and powerful relic. Without its magic, the crystal empire would be lost to the frozen north. Wow, this crystalline sounds pretty important. I'd understand if you wanted to, you know, wait to do a different <laughs> friendship lesson when we get back. 
Are you kidding? This trip is perfect. Not only do I get to see the baby, two birds with one stone. Sounds like Twilight. Maintain the magic of the Crystal Empire. Always be efficient. I'm starting my new people off with the most amazing friendship lesson ever. I can't wait. Right. None of Twy's friendship Neither. lessons were planned, although Twilight probably has a different method of teaching than Celestia. It should be pretty cool. She's a teacher now instead of a student. She's done a lot of character development. That's really awesome. I know what it's like to see old friends, but I'll be right there to help things along. Oh yeah, she had an episode where she met to, went to meet an old friend, I remember. That was entertaining. Oh my god, what happened to his mane? Twilight. I didn't know you were meeting us. What does Of course I am. It's me. The stress right is getting to him. Oh. That we have met before. Are you all right? The nerves are destroying him. Amazing and wonderful and amazing and confusing and amazing, but surprising too, you know. I mean, not that you know, you wouldn't know, I know. You know? Um, Sorry. someone get him I a really shrink. <laughs> Come to think of it, she hasn't either. It sure would be great to get oh, they're nuts. Oh, of course. I don't know what I was oh. thinking. You two probably need all kinds of help. I'm sorry, Starlight, but I guess combining your first lesson with this visit wasn't such a good idea. Oh, uh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> You're an aunt now. That's way more important than some friendship lesson. I just wish there was a way to do both. Maybe there is. Damn it, Spike. <laughs> You've already done the work for Starlight's lesson with this list. All we have to do is follow it. Spike, you're a genius. Oh, <laughs> she's so mad at Spike genius. right now. <laughs> then it's settled. Shining Armor and I will head straight to the castle, and you two can head straight to Sunbursts. Aye, aye, princess. And how are they supposed to know where Sunburst lives? How would she figure out that information? I guess she is a princess, but still. Amazing baby pony. That is a lot of studying. <laughs> I know you're a little <laughs> micro sleeps, about the kind of. But I'm sure Twilight's got everything covered. Everything except how I'd rather do absolutely anything else. <laughs> well, that into account too. It's all part of the lesson. Trust the lesson. Right. <laughs> Trust the lesson. Hey, the lesson knows. You? Oh, yep. It sure is. Oh, that's a smart plan. Oh, it failed. Why is there a statue of you in the Crystal Empire? Because Spike, the brave and glorious, saved all of us from King Sombra. Because that's exactly what his ego needs. Really? Really? Big fan. <laughs> um, when were you gonna tell me about this? Nah, it's no big deal. Now he's being modest, and they're making it hard for him to be. We're not going anywhere until I get the whole story. Where did the popcorn come from? Is there a stand over there or something? Before we go in, I should probably tell you, seeing the baby might be a bit of a shock. Come on, big brother. I've met babies before. I expect meeting this one won't be any different. <gasps> And there's the shock. Of course, I could be wrong. It's an alicorn. I honest I don't know what to say to that. Baby is an alicorn? It looks that way. But, but I thought alicorn wings had to be earned by accomplishing some great princess worthy deed. Yeah. How can you just be born with them? The birth of an alicorn is something Equestria has never seen. It is beyond even our so, understanding. So, the princess, the really two main princesses, oh, aren't natural born alicorns baby. either. So she can be a super strong flyer and have crazy baby magic! Hmm. Well, I know all about ha. super strong flying. And I can help keep tabs on her magic. <laughs> Can't they use some sort of inhibitor spell to stop her from doing... Stuff like that? Oh my god. They did it the um Grand Magic. Her magic um, is more powerful than that of a you know, the games. Unicorn. The crowds have already started to gather. <gasps> this crystalline is 
gonna be some party. <laughs> Do you think we should call it off? Um, we've all faced a lot worse than baby magic. I can't imagine canceling such a beautiful and important ceremony over something so potentially adorable. Inhibitor to spell it, inhibitor to ring. Yeah. The fandom and the show have come up with plenty of things to deal with these situations. It wouldn't be that hard to control. More important than ever. Perhaps you should address your subjects and remind them of that. Uh, they need some sleep. They look awful. Shining armor. Do you have everything you need for the ceremony? Huh? Oh no! Take that as a no. the honor guards, choose the purity crystal, and pick a crystal -er. All right, take it easy. Pinky can stay here with me and keep an eye on the baby. <laughs> a shiny and armor, we'll it's not okay. Everything else. Oh, baby. That is if you can stay awake long enough to tell us how. <laughs> Seriously, I've already been here for 15 minutes. Damn. As much as I love reliving my hero, where did the lawn chair come from? Oh, come on, Spike. I want to hear about the games, too. I know you're nervous about seeing Sunday, but it says right in step three to uh, deal with your fears by facing them, not by putting it off. Let's go get this over with. Uh, Twilight really did prepare for just about everything, doesn't she? Sounds like her. Wait! What? Knocking That's on the door the... isn't the oh. next thing on the list. Seriously? I know Twilight can be a little nitpicky, but this is your first lesson as her pupil, and it's important that we do it right. Fine. What's the next thing on the list? <clears throat> Before they see each other, make sure to highlight the importance of the meeting. I'm pretty sure we can skip that. I don't know. I mean, if we skip it, the whole lesson could go south. And then you might end up taking a giant step backwards instead of forwards. Then you'll never be able to learn anything about friendship at Someone's all. been hanging out with like their freaking... I don't know what Twilight is to Spike, I don't remember. The importance Boss, of I guess. Check. I Way too much. I wanted to skip that. Guess they're not home. Time to go. Sunburst? Yes? What can I do for you? It's... it's me. Starlight. We used to be friends? Uh, of course! S Starlight! <laughs> My goodness! It's um, been a long time. What's wrong with him? What, uh, what have you been up to? Me? Oh! <laughs> you know... Some of this, some of that, different stuff. Right now, I'm sort of Twilight Sparkle's new pupil. The princess of friendship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually kind of why I'm here. I mean, I know you're probably very busy. What do you mean? Well, I figured after magic school, you'd go on to do important wizard work, but... Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's me. Yep. Oh, wizard. apparently really not. With lots of, uh, Did he drop out? Stuff. Or get kicked or something? Right. Uh, well, good to see you. Hmm. Huh. That I was highlighting the importance of strange. the after all. Well, I guess that's that. Starlight, come on. We have what to at least explain what Twilight him? wants. <sighs> Oh, I, am sure I don't know how to respond to that. Or should I say react? As myself and shining armor. Did they build that just for this specific crystalline? I'm not ready. Take it easy. Just pick whoever looks the most like honor guard material. Right. Right. <laughs> Father Just smack two of the guards in the face. I ever thought. I can well, the new guard designs with them hawks are cool. Those are kind of awesome. Very important decision. So, I'm going 
gone through the trouble of arranging them in order from incredibly pure to outrageously pure. Oh, um, the, Verity, the second on the left. Don't they sort of look the same? Oh, well, to the untrained eye, perhaps. What do you think, Shining Armor? Second from the left. Are you... I don't know! Um... I hope Twilight and Pinky are having better luck with the baby. Oh, just by the way they said that, you know that... Oh, apparently they are. Okay, yeah, they're having a hard time with the baby. Ah, oh, she should just put a force field around the baby. Three storylines. I'm not sure they've ever done that in the show before. That's kind of interesting. The princess of friendship wants you and I to Explains be friends Explains why it feels like I'm not that far in the episode, but it's <laughs> also know. a lot more information. Weird, right? Well, I don't understand. Did something happen to you after I left for magic school? What? No! I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> why would you even ask that? You shouldn't. I mean, did something happen to you after you left for magic school? What? Uh, no. They're both clearly hiding something. Important the question is, what is he hiding? I'm sure there's something on Twilight's list that can help here. Twilight can't pre prepare for every contingency spike. She's smart, but she's not some sort of. Poof, um, okay. I chose the honor guard. Pick the pure. Uh, I can't words apparently. Exactly who I want to be our crystaller. So all we need is. Oh, they both look considerably better. The baby. His mouth kind of looked like a butt for a second there. Ah, there it is. That was a good idea. The force field. Uh-oh. Well, she has a very strong royal equestrian vo- That is bad. Is that a freaking baby or a demon? It just pretty much possibly destroyed the empire. Again. That is very different music. I don't remember if that's the music I heard when I was doing the freaking balancing or not. It might be, I don't know. Uh, I'm derped. Seems from official version of. I don't know what that is, but... I'll be sure to give props... Actually, I'll give props to the YouTuber now, because I know I'm gonna forget. So... This video was thankfully uploaded by Rainbow Brony for all of us to view, so... I'm sure why not. He'll probably be uploading the other one, so I'll give him a sub so I can catch them all and show my support. Um, but yeah, thank you Rainbow Brony for uploading this to YouTube so so many people can watch it. At least 600,000 people are very happy about you um, uploading it so that they can see the episode and not if they don't have the channel or TV or whatever. So, very good on you. And um, if you want to see the actual video, the actual episode without me in it, you should definitely check out his channel or possibly if you want to see future episodes because he might be uploading those. I'm not sure. But um, yeah. All right, let's get back into this, guys. I still can't believe you're letting me stay here as your people. Shining armor! I'm an aunt. I still just how she's his aunt. <laughs> it's adorable. Yes, that's me. Yep. Important wizard. Important wizard. A ridiculously powerful alicorn. You think they have any super glue? Um, gorilla glue? Oh uh, wait, that's made of horse. Kind of insensitive of me. I don't know much about magic crystals, but I'm assuming if it breaks, that is bad. Ouch. I 
actually my video on magic that I have a script for that I should be making after my video on tech and video on how big Equestria is as reference to the Crystal Heart. So this should be able to expand on that more and on the purpose of that um, relic and stuff. So that should be pretty cool for my next uh, future video. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, that. hopefully within the next month and a half. But we're also about to be frozen solid! Without the Crystal Heart's magical protection, the entire city's about to become a winter wasteland. But what about when King Zomber ruled the Crystal Heart? I was about to ask that. I was about to ask that. The heart wasn't missing. It was still in the castle. King Zomber had just hidden it. Uh, okay. I'm afraid Twilight is correct, and the storm clouds are already forming. I can totally fly up there and bust those puppies. No problem. I wouldn't advise it, Rainbow Dash. Those Why storm not? clouds are not like the ones you know. This far north, the weather has a will of its own, and now it will like in the Everfree storm, Forest, enveloping everything in its path, mm. including the Crystal Empire cool. and us along with it. So, in the Crystal Empire, the weather isn't taken care of, regulated by Pegasi, it's regulated by the magic of the Crystal Empire, of the Crystal Heart, which I'm assuming was created by probably a unicorn at some point, but I'm not sure. I don't know where a lot of the routes come from. Actually, there's several. Mist Mane's Material Amity, Rock Hoof's Rapport, Flash Prance's Fellowship. But I get the feeling the princess isn't looking for a spell. <laughs> Definitely not. Got no. it! And if all else fails, ask them to share an embarrassing moment from their past. Maybe even something they regret. Yeah, uh, I don't see how that would help. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should just get out of your mane. It's pretty obvious this isn't going how Twilight hoped, and I'm sure you have plenty of important work to do. What? No, oh, uh, right, yes. <laughs> Uh, no rest he flunked out of magic reason. school. Come on, or he's still in it. Hmm. Sorry, my lip was itchy. You kind of see the dimensions there. It's very hard to do good flash animation, so... Props to the animators for this show for the past six seasons, even in season one. The animation was a little lacking, but still, good flash animations. Not easy to come by. Even our magic will eventually succumb to the power of the frozen north. We will do what we can, but you must hurry. Um, force field, anyone? Shining, oh, Shining Armor's probably too exhausted to use this force field. Ugh. I don't know how long it will take to find the right spell, but you should probably tell the crowd outside to get somewhere warm. And try not to mention the Crystal Heart. We don't want to start a panic. Yes, ma'am. Come on, girls! I'm gonna need all of your help. The Crystal Library is enormous. You can count on us, Twily. <laughs> she can teleport? Where'd she go? Oh. They really do have their hopes full in this one. Spike, looks like my biggest fears came true. I wouldn't be surprised if Twilight decides to give up on me entirely. Ooh, I wonder if her friend is going to save the day. That would be interesting. That would be incredible writing. Did he just send that to the princess? Or you, or Twilight. I'm the one Sunburst doesn't want to be friends with. I don't remember him saying he didn't want to be friends. He didn't have to say it. Well, someone's down on themselves. Ah, hugs. Mm, thanks, Spike. At least I have two friends, even if one of them has dragon breath. Uh, that's not dragon breath. It's freezing. Oh, you're right. But I thought the crystal heart was supposed to keep the cold weather out. It is, unless something's happened. Come on. That is bad. Incredible magic, but bad. It gives me an idea for something to extend in my fanfic. Still, when you think about it, the view is just as good a little further back, like inside your house. 
crystalling ceremony is one of our most sacred traditions. And when that foal is held before the crystal heart, I plan to be as close to the action as possible. Honestly, I don't know if there's going to be a crystalline. The truth is, the baby's an alicorn, and her magic's plum crazy, so you might not want to be that close after all. A baby alicorn? Wow, I can't wait to see that. Oh, <sighs> Why does your voice sound so young when she looks so old? I know, right? Tons of new, um, background ponies, though. No crystalling, huh? Then why are they starting a fireworks show? <laughs> That's not a fireworks show. <laughs> Young Billy, get back! Come here! Come here! Ride a box boat chant. Hey, Hubson. Excuse me. Surely there must be some kind of weather spell they can use. Shining armor? I thought you were taking care of the baby. Stop trying! There must be something they can do. Some sort of mass weather spell, try and enchant another crystal. <gasps> if they do that, that'll be so awesome. I'd love to see how those kind of relics are created. That should be entertaining. I think this is it. Spell of Relic Reconstitution. I can't believe we found it. It's a good thing, too. Without this, I don't know what we'd do. Boom. Oh. There it is. Shining Armor's shield spell was a literal shield. That's awesome. expecting any of this. Do you think you can remember the spell? I only read it through once! Well, if any pony can exactly remember something she read for the first time two minutes ago, it's you, Twilight. I'll try, but I'm not sure how long it'll take. Is quickly an option? <laughs> I'll help if I can, but we should evacuate the city just in case. You need to lead every pony to the train station before the tracks freeze over. We will, but between you and Twilight, I'm sure you'll remember the spell. <sighs> Ever consider another copy of said yeah, spell? This spell is the one we need. Is there anything I can do? I don't think so. I'm just sorry about your lesson. Oh, that doesn't matter now. Sunburst and I don't have anything in common anyway. He's a big, important <sighs> wizard. And I'm relearning everything I ever thought I knew. Sunburst? I don't recognize the name, but if he's an important wizard, you should bring him here. Maybe he'll know what to do if the spell fails. Of course! You better go with her, Spike. Is Spike suddenly Sunset's assistant now? Not Sunset. Starlight. Um, derped. <laughs> The crystal heart is gone. The baby, shining armor, and Cadence's baby. It's an alicorn. Really? Really? And her magic is a little berserk. And well, I guess she destroyed the heart. But Twilight thinks she can fix it. And Princess Cadence thought you could help. Me? Of course. You're an important wizard in the Crystal Empire. It just makes sense. Right. 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 You know. I'd like to help. I, I really would. I, I just have so much, um, important wizard work to do around here. Huh? She doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Did I mention this was a royal crystalline? When the crystal holds the young one aloft, 
all of the Empire will share their joy and light, and the Crystal Heart will beat stronger than it ever has before. It really is a moving ceremony. I really don't think it's going to happen. Come on! It's freezing out here! Uh, this is the Crystal Empire. We've seen snow before. Not like this! We don't have time to argue. Princess Cadence has decided to evacuate the city. <gasps> but the crystalline... I don't know if we'll ever have another crystalline again. The crystal heart is shattered. <laughs> it's not safe here. <sighs> That's what we've been trying <laughs> to tell you. Sunburst, I know you're busy, but did you hear what I said? No, oh, I heard you. But but like I said, when you're an important wizard, the work just piles up. Sunburst! Look, Starlight, I want to help. I do. But I can't. I wish I could. What do you mean? Fixing an ancient relic? I, I can't even come close to doing something like that. But uh, I thought you were an important wizard. Well, you were wrong, okay? I'm not an important wizard. I'm not even a wizard at all! Yeah, because no one saw that coming. Sorry, guys, I'm getting really into this, and my reaction's kind of falling off the rails a bit. <laughs> I know it's hard for you to understand, but not all of us end up achieving greatness. What? Why wouldn't I? He failed that? magic school. Really? You're the protege of the princess of friendship. I don't think she picks just any pony for that. Technically, she's more of a student than a protege. Whatever. I'm sorry, I'm not the big important wizard you were expecting. Sunburst? I don't care if you're a wizard or not, I'm just surprised. You always knew so much about magic. I mean, look at all these books. Yeah, well, reading about magic is one thing, but you don't know what it was like at magic school. To know so much and not be able to do any of it. Hmm. Well, you don't know if what he's it was read like the to be book. left behind. And then getting so bitter that you steal the cutie marks from an entire village, and then get defeated by Twilight and her friends. So you travel through time to get back at them, but they beat you again and teach you about friendship, but you're so terrified ponies will find out what you did that you can't make any friends! <laughs> that reaction, though. Time? See? I told you he'd be impressed. I'm sorry we lost touch. Did you really travel through time? I reached out, you could have helped me in magic school, and I could have helped you to... Not become totally evil? Not <sighs> become totally evil. Let's just say, I know what it's like to have something you're not exactly proud of. You showed up thinking I was some big wizard. I'm sorry. I should have told you the truth. It's fine. At least we worked it all out. I think Twilight would be proud of us. And where was he... Before he moved to the Crystal Empire. We probably leave now. Before it re-rose. Where was he then? The city. You need to get to the train That's an interesting question. Unless you've got a spell here that will drive back the frozen north and fix the crystal heart so the baby can have her crystalline. Crystalline? Of course! They're not doing well. They're not doing well at all. <sighs> they should really get indoors and start burning things. This is like the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Just, oh, everything's frozen, you're all fucked. <laughs> oh, her wings are frozen. I didn't know that could happen. Although it is colder in the air. We have to go back. I know how to stop this. Uh, I think that's everything. It looks right to me, but there's only one way to find out. Nope. The spell failed. I don't know what else to do. 
An old student of mine believes he does. The baby did this? I tried putting it back together with... The spell of relic reconstitution. That won't do it. The Crystal Heart's been around for millennia. Restoring a relic like this is magic way beyond one spell. You need to combine it with something else. Something unique to the relic itself. Something that strengthens it and provides it with power. <laughs> the crystalling. The crystalling! Genius. That spell with the light and love of every pony gathered for the ceremony, together with somnambula's weather abjuration to clear away the snow, and a little fledgling's forbearance for the parents. <laughs> That should curb the little one's power fluctuations. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that baby's adorable. Starlight said you were a powerful wizard. Oh, I'm no wizard. Huh? What? But he studied magic his whole life. You should see his house. And since no pony has any better ideas, what do we have to lose? I had planned on asking Twilight to be our crystaller, but since it seems like she'll be busy... I'd be honored. Well, what are we waiting for? That's cute. And this is a really interesting episode. This is like nothing they've ever done in the show before. Which seems to be common for the show lately. <laughs> You can hear the fanfics being typed now. For a pony who isn't a post apocalyptic you did pretty well. Crystal Empire. <laughs> I'm glad to see you found a way to share your unique Are the Empire being the only place alive in an apocalypse? Because that seems very likely. He is pretty skilled at magic, you at least knowledge wise. The crazy weather that delayed our train. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. But it was all worth it to see this peaceful little angel. Oh, oh Twilight's parents. So sweet. Come to your grandmare. <laughs> yeah, peaceful now, anyway. I suppose that spell really did the trick. <laughs> we have Sunburst to thank for that. I hope he takes his role as Crystaller seriously. <laughs> Something tells me the baby will need a pony like him to look to for magical advice. Caden Starling, aren't we gonna name the poor little dear, or are we gonna spend the entire visit just calling her the baby? We were thinking... Flurry Heart. You know, to remember the occasion. <laughs> That's fitting. The Flurry Heart. It's a cute name. I think it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I think you're the Crystal Empire's big important wizard. I knew it was something like that, but I couldn't remember the exact I don't know name of her. Time for any wizarding. I'm a crystaller now. That's a big responsibility. I can't think <laughs> of any pony more qualified. Just promise you'll stay in touch. <laughs> like I'd ever lose touch with my oldest friend. Ostrid, she can't be old. She can't be older than thirty. <laughs> What's wrong, Twilight? I don't know, Sparrow. 
Spike. I think I have a lot to learn about being a teacher. What are you talking about? Your lesson went perfectly. Starlight and Sunburst got over their past and rekindled their friendship. No thanks to me. I know a lot happened. I just wish I could have given my pupil the attention she deserves. Well, I know she needed to be put on the right path. But giving her the space to make her own decisions worked pretty well. Isn't that how Celestia taught you? He's not wrong. You know, I never thought about it, but I guess it is. <laughs> Maybe you're a better teacher than you thought. She's doing pretty well. It's really neat watching this show and watching all the characters grow up over the seasons. That's incredibly awesome. So again, special thank you to Rainbow Brony for actually posting this so people could view it and I could react to it. I'm sure there are other videos of it, but this one's really great quality. It's got all the commercials and stuff perfectly cut out. It's got both of them, so I'll put the link down there if you guys want to see this. So yeah. Uh, impressions, impressions, impressions. It was good. It, it was kind of slice of life, but not. It was the first time MLP, as far as I can remember, has ever tried doing three storylines at once, and then they all converged, and it was just really well written, really well done. Um, do they have who wrote it in the, um, damn, they don't. Okay, but either way, whoever wrote this did a really great job. Um, it, <laughs> sorry guys, just, that was a great episode. Um, we got to learn more about the Crystal Empire, more about relics, a little bit about, you know, magic and how that works. Um, a little bit about Starlight, a little bit about Starburst, which is cool. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of good fanfics on fanfiction, and speaking of fanfics, I gotta go work on Trotting Dead. So, um, I've gotta go deal with that, and I'm sure you guys got stuff to do too, if you're still actually watching. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. Um, Carpe diem, have a great day, see you later, and stay tuned because I'm definitely going to be uploading more videos more frequently. Have a good day, guys.